Hi everyone, we're going to find the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 4x divided by sine of 6x. And our goal is to use this equation here, I'll call this equation 1, as a given. So the limit as theta approaches 0 of sine of theta divided by theta equals 1. So that's what we're going to try to work with here. So I'm going to rewrite this our equation and break it up a little bit. So I'm going to write this as sine of 4x divided by 1 times 1 divided by sine of 6x because we have both we have two things going here and what I'm going to do with that because remember we're trying to make it look like this now I don't have an x here See, we need a variable in the denominator to make it look like this. So what I'm going to do is uh, multiply the, new, the denominator here by x and the numerator. So basically, instead of putting the 1 here, I'm multiplying this whole thing by x, x over x. Remember, x divided by x is 1. I'm just trying to make it look like um, this so it's easier to find the limit. Now that I've done that, um, I can split this up and write the limit as x approaches 0 of uh, sine of 4x divided by 4, by x, sorry, times the limit of x approaches 0 of x divided by sine of 6x. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and multiply this equation, um, the numerator and the denominator by 4, and this one I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 6. Okay, now um, since we have that I can pull out this 4 and when I pull out the 4, you'll see that this is going to give me this equation here. Because I can let theta equal 4x. So let's do that on the next slide. We're going to pull out the 4 and write this as 4 times the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 4x divided by 4x. And on the second one, um, we had, uh, let me just write down what we had. We had uh, the limit as x approaches 0, 6x divided by 6 times sine of 6x. All right, anyway. So what I'm going to do is pull out this 6. So that's 1, 6 times the limit as x approaches 0 of 6x divided by sine of 6x. Now, since this equals 1, this also equals 1. So finally what we have is for this equals 1 times 1 times 1 sixth and this equals 1. In this case we let theta equal 6x and in this case we let theta equal 4x to make it look like our, we'll call this equation 1 again. And so this would be 1. This gives you 4 sixths and that reduces to 2 thirds. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.